is celebrating his 30th anniversary. 30 years working, working for the Airsoft player. Big hand for him. Everyone, I'm sorry with GNG Armament, and I just want to say thank you for everybody that supported GNG Armament for the last 30 years. This year marks our 30th anniversary of being in business, so thank you very much. Uh, we got a lot of new features uh, showcasing today. Uh, we got our, our new RK74 line, we got the 5x5 shooting system behind us that we're going to hold the competition. We're going to announce our greatest glory uh, winner uh, that won $10,000. So if you haven't subscribed uh, to that, make sure you go to our website and find more information on and we'll go check out all this cool stuff that our is this year. Hi, I'm John with G&G Armament. I'm going to be going over our new GC line for 2016, so let's get started. Here we have our new combat machine line. It's a step up from our standard combat machine line, and they're going to have some awesome features. We have a CNC aluminum hard anodized rail. We have our aggressive belt looking polymer receiver, and we have our low profile brain stock, which you can still fit a decent sized battery in. This also will feature an electronic trigger and MOSFET, which is programmable to three round bursts. And lastly, we have our metal flip up sights that you will see on uh, our GC line as well. Here we have our RK74 series. We have a T, P, and CQB. The big feature of the gun is the key mod rail. It is CNC aluminum, hard anodized. It's actually where the battery is housed. So all you do is unscrew the front gas tube and the front rail pops off and it houses the battery. It can fit a 7.4 and an 11.1 LiPo battery, the flat style. And then all you do is set the rail back on after you get the battery housed in there correctly and you screw the gas tube closed. Also a big feature is our electronic trigger and MOSFET, which is programmable to three round bursts. Another big feature is our new magazine which it can be used as a 30 round magazine and a 90 round magazine. And all you have to do is pop off the bottom plate and push the magazine out. And you have a, and you have a button there that you can switch from 30 to 90. Also with this, with this new model, you have an ambi mag release and an ambidextrous charging handle Which you can see, you can do it on both sides. So, what I with the charging handle, you can pull it all the way back and lock it with the selector plate. So you can adjust your hop up with ease and just release it, and it'll slam forward, giving a nice loud clack sound. Also, with this, you have an M4 style buffer tube with the retractable stock. And with the T model, you can actually fold the stock in to make it even shorter. Here we have our RK104 ETU Wayne. The big feature of this gun is going to be the electronic trigger MOSFET, which is programmable with a three round burst. Also, you will notice it has a tan receiver and tan barrel with an AR buffer tube with an M4 retractable crane stock. Here we have our GMG42. It has a full steel metal construction. It has flip-up sights that are adjustable for windage and elevation. A very cool feature about the gun is the quick barrel swap, just like the real one. You lift up the feed tray and then you press a button by the hop-up unit and it pushes the hop-up unit into the outer barrel and then you just pull on the lever here, swap out the barrel, 
and then put it back in. You can lock it in, slam it shut, and then you pull back on the charging handle, and it pulls the hop-up unit and barrel to seat up against the gearbox. Also with this, the gearbox can be removed very quickly and easy by releasing the hop-up unit and lifting up on the bar in the back and sliding out the gearbox for any type of modifications or repairs. And to get it back in, you set it down in and make sure it sits correctly in the grooves. And then you just put that same bar back in And there you have it. Here we have our gas-powered G98. It'll feature a full wooden stock and a leather sling. The gas is housed here in the mock bolt. And how it's loaded, you take a BB, put it in each shell, and you load it like the real rifle. Thank you very much. Apple One, uh, the number three is TM16. Last year was a huge year for GCR men because we hosted our first annual World Cup shooting competition. It involved 12 different countries, 40 participants, 20 teams. It was just a phenomenal event to participate and to experience firsthand in Taiwan. So if you have a chance, make sure you check that out. We'll be having another World Cup shooting competition soon, so make sure you check out preliminary qualifiers in your nearby uh, country.